Let's get you set up using the Crosstrade add-on in only a few minutes. The XT add-on is at the heart of our tools. Whether you're using webhooks, the NT account manager, trade copying, our REST API, you need to first complete the installation process. The first step is to click on the download link from the setup guide or the installation page. Now that you have the add-on downloaded, the next step is to head over to NinjaTrader and import the file. Go to Tools, then Import, then NinjaScript add-on. There will now be a series of prompts. Select Yes to All to import the file. Before we restart Ninja, let's also turn on the ATI setting. Go to Tools, then Settings, then Automated Trading Interface, and finally, check the box here for AT Interface. Once you click Apply and OK, it'll prompt you to restart Ninja for the changes to take effect. After you've restarted Ninja, you'll need to connect to your data feed under Connections, and then log into the add-on. Pro tip! If you're planning to trade prop accounts, we highly suggest you purchase and use a live data feed from NinjaTrader and connect to that feed first to ensure a more stable connection. Then, you can connect to your prop supplied data to access that account. Click New and then Cross Trade at the bottom of the drop down window. Now, supply your email and password and then check the boxes for Remember Me and Auto Connect, which will automatically connect Cross Trade when you start Ninja. We have a guide on optimizing NinjaTrader that you should check out for the best experience. It covers best practices and other tips and tricks. If you're planning to run automated strategies with NT8, we recommend you consider using a virtual private server to ensure you have a stable connection and high-speed environment. We offer Chicago-based servers directly at unbeatable prices that come with NT8 and the Crosstrade add-on already pre-installed. You can learn more and deploy a server right inside your user account by heading over to the Crosstrade VPS section. The remainder of this setup guide will focus on using TradingView webhooks for automation purposes, but as I mentioned at the beginning, Crosstrade offers a full suite of tools that can be used with either external webhooks or locally on NinjaTrader 8. Let's continue with sending webhooks. Once connected, let's head over to your Crosstrade dashboard and fire off our first signal before setting up some TradingView alerts. On your Crosstrade dash, you'll see the connection icon is now green and ready to go. The manual trader window is preloaded with your secret key and a basic market buy command. If you click the send button, the order will get sent directly to Ninja and placed in the default SIM account for paper trading. The manual trader can be used to execute orders against your NT8 and it comes in handy when you want to test different alert payloads in the same way they might arrive externally. You can also use the command builder and save favorite commands to your library for quick execution. Moving on, if you scroll down, you'll find a pre-made library of command examples for different trading scenarios. This is just some of the commands, and you'll find more in the help docs under webhooks. You can easily copy these command examples to your clipboard or click the trade button to load it into the manual trader. There are also help links spread throughout that will link back to our help docs for each command type. Let's grab this close position command and close the test trade we just opened. It's that easy. Now, let's keep going. The same rules apply to sending an alert from TradingView. Click to copy the basic buy command and we'll add it into a TradingView alert message field. From your super charts, click to create an alert. Because this is a short setup tutorial, we'll set it to a condition that will fire immediately, like price greater than 1. You can use any condition trigger on TradingView to send the alert to your XT add-on. As long as there's a message window for you to provide the trade instructions, the alert will be received and passed to NT8 for execution. Now, click on the Message tab and paste the command. When it comes to automating indicators, the process is straightforward. Simply select the indicator condition trigger and paste in a message payload. Indicators provide the flexibility to customize the triggers and messages more than strategies, so you may find they're actually easier to automate for your particular needs. Before we save the alert, you'll also need to add your personal webhook URL into the Notifications tab, so copy that off the dash and then click here to paste it into the webhook field. If you're on a free account, you'll need to upgrade to the Essentials plan or hire for webhook functionality. Now click Create, and we'll give it a second to fire off. Boom! You sent your first trade signal from TradingView to NinjaTrader. Let's wrap things up with a primer on automating strategies. You can grab the pre-made strategy commands from the dash and perform the same action by pasting it into the alert message field. Scroll down to the strategy examples and you will see there are three base options to use here. The first is full synchronization, which means you want your TradingView strategy to control the entire process and send entries and exits, and for the NT8 account to follow that direction. You'll notice the sync logic here at the bottom of the command payload. 
This is intended to check for the current and previous position state to ensure it matches NT8 and keep the two platforms working in sync. These two variables for the action and quantity get supplied directly to Crosstrade by the strategy logic. The second option can be used if you want to automate the strategy entries but would prefer to use an ATM or brackets on NT8 to cover the trade management, then you could use this type of command payload, which uses the flatten first enhancement to close any existing bracket, the ATM strategy, and the exit blocking we added to the strategy sync system. This way, the strategy exits get blocked and you can safely let the trade play out on NT8 without interference. The third option is for a stop and reverse strategy type, which cannot be synced as the strategy never actually reaches a flat state. This one is more simple and only uses the flatten first enhancement to close and then reopen the new entry in the opposite direction. That's it to get started. If you're interested in having full control over your trading view signals to manage your NinjaTrader day trading account and establish daily profit and loss thresholds, auto flatten times, and more, check out our NT account manager. From everyone on the Crosstrade team, we want to welcome you aboard, and please let us know if you have any questions.